Hello and uh, welcome to 5 Tech. This is Abbas. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about what is cloud computing. Cloud computing is a model for enabling convenient on-demand network access to a shared pool of configured computing resources. Resources like servers, storage, networks, application and services that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management efforts or service provider interaction. Out here you see a data center where you have all the uh, servers, network devices and uh, storage boxes are parked here. This, this is a place where everything is physically located. Now you are trying to access this in any remote place virtually via internet in simple manner accessing of physical resources virtually in re any remote place where services are offered via internet that is what is cloud there are some essential cloud characteristics which we need to understand that is first on demand self service second broad network access third resource pooling fourth rapid elasticity fifth measured services in the earlier slide in the earlier slide we understood what is cloud computing let's understand components of cloud computing how exactly the cloud computing environment works you have a physical infrastructure where all the uh, uh, devices are parked here above that you have a virtual infrastructure which is built then you install above this these applications and platform software then you have a cloud management and service creation tools which play a major role in catering cloud services. Now technically let's understand. We have unified management software interacts with all standalone physical and virtual infrastructure management software. It collects info on the existing physical and virtual infrastructure, configurations, connectivity and utilization. It compiles this information and provides a consolidated view of infrastructure resources scattered across one or more data centers. Uh, coming to the most important part, people want to know, are there any advantages of cloud computing? Yes, of course. Uh, pay only when you consume computing resources. That means you pay only for how much you consume. That means pay as you go. Benefit from massive economies of scale, yes. By using cloud computing, you can achieve a lower variable cost that you can get on your own. Means, uh, translates into lower pay as you go prices. Okay, stop guessing about capacity. It eliminates you from guessing the infrastructure capacity needs. That means, when you make a decision, Prior to deploying an application, you often end up sitting on expensive idle resources or dealing with limited capacity. Okay, is cloud agile and fast? Yes, of course. You can just use the resources or get into new IT resources which are just click away, which means you reduce the time for uh, using of resources or uh, getting into the any kind of uh, areas in the uh, cloud environment that you need in just few clicks which used to take weeks this can be done in few minutes uh, and of course it's quite reasonable affordable another question what arises we say go global in minutes of course you can just uh, click easily deploy your application in multiple regions around the world with just few clicks this means you can provide lower latency and better experience for your customers at minimal cost. Are there any cloud challenges? Yes, of course. You have service warranty to worry about, service cost, large number of softwares to manage, complexity in deploying vendor software, no standard cloud access interface. You don't have to worry about anything as such. If you start using services, for example, if I'm using Amazon services, which is one of the best uh, all this is taken care by uh, vendor. Let's talk about uh, services and the deployments in the sense service and 
deployment models of cloud computing. Uh, let's start with infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service contains the basic building blocks for cloud IT and typically provide access to networking features or compute or uh, it could be virtual or dedicated hardware and data storage space. Infrastructure as a service provides you with highest level of flexibility and management control over your IT resources. Uh, infrastructure as a service is uh, most similar to existing IT resources that many IT departments and developers are familiar with. Next, let, let's talk about platform as a service. What it does, it removes the need for your organization to manage the underlying infrastructure, usually hardware or OS you talk about and allows you to focus on deployment and management of your application. This helps you to be more efficient as you don't need to worry about resources, procurement, capacity, planning, software, maintenance, etc. Let's talk about SaaS, which is software as a service, provides you with a complete product that is run and managed by service provider. With SaaS offering, you don't have to think about how the service is maintained or how the underlying infra is managed. Manage. You only need to think how uh, you will use that particular piece of software. So we discussed about service model. Let's discuss about deployment model. Uh, to start with, let's say public cloud. Public clouds are most common way of deploying cloud computing. The cloud resources like server and storage are owned and operated by third party or the vendor. Let's talk about service provider who delivers, for example, Amazon through their services called as Amazon Web Services. Are there any advantages of public cloud? Yes, of course. Lower cost, maintenance is taken care by service provider, scalability, high reliability. Now let's talk about private cloud. Private cloud consists of uh, computing resources used exclusively by one business or organization. Private cloud can be physically located at your organization on-site data center. Private clouds are uh, often used by government agencies, financial institutions, etc. It's more flexible, improved security, high scalability. Now, let's talk about hybrid cloud. What is hybrid cloud? It's a combination of public cloud plus private cloud. Let's understand technically. In hybrid cloud, data and applications can move between private and public clouds for greater flexibility and more deployment option. For example, you can use the public cloud for high volume, low security needs such as web-based mails or etc. Private cloud on uh, premises infrastructure for sensitive business critical operations like financial reportings. Let's look into cloud service providers who provide this uh, service globally. You have AWS that is Amazon Web Services from Amazon is the major provider with more than 40% of the market share followed by Azure from Microsoft just 30% approximately in market share followed by other cloud providers like Google Cloud, Alibaba Cloud. Oracle, IBM and other cloud providers. Yes, Amazon Web uh, Services is a subsidy of Amazon that provides on-demand cloud computing. The services are provided to individual or the organizations or government in institutions. Uh, it's like pay as you go on basis. It provides you with infrastructure as a service. You get services like uh, platform as a service, software as a service, or you can even use their uh, hybrid services. Amazon Web Services uh, offers you with more than 100 plus services. Here just we have platform like EC2 or S3, database services, deployment tools, management, and etc. Uh, further videos uh, to uh, get through or you just want to know about the services that are offered and how they are used, 
will be seeing in our next video kindly subscribe to subscribe to our channel for further videos thank you very much